I stamp his skater here again. Um, I've done all my Christmas cards now. I, I might make the odd one still to do some more videos for you guys, but I'm moving on to birthday cards. I came across this one. I saw a bit very similar, but not exactly the same. So I jazzed it up a bit, did a little bit of extra myself. Um, just start to play and happy birthday inside. But look, I put Fabulous Friend on. You could also make this into a thank you card, a get well soon card, a sympathy card. But uh, I like I like using my old stamp set. This one is done in black and white, obviously, as you can see. And I'm going to do this one in red and white. Because um, I just like, well, you can do it in for blue for a boy instead of flowers. Use something boyish. <laughs> uh, on butterflies, you don't have to put butterflies on. But I might turn this one actually into a thank you card. So I've got my real red, um, which is just A4 size folded in half. Because as you know me, I like my big cards. I get a piece of Whisper White, which is five and a half by eight for the inside. So I can add my sentiment and my message. I will stick that down later, but deciding what I'm going to stamp on it on the inside first. I've also got my white cardstock which is five and a half by two and five eighths so it's evenly spaced out on the card like so. I'm going to stamp first <laughs> and I'll, I will um, adhere them down level I promise. Well, I'll try my best. You get the drift anyway, so I'm going to set this and this to one side for a moment because I don't need them right now. I found some lovely old little red ribbon, that is why I went for red. So first I'm going to do, I'm going to use my little stampy jig as well. Oh, I might, yeah. Let me see what sentiment I'm going to put on there first. I love this thing. Um... I tell you what, I'm going to do this as a congratulations card, not happy birthday. I love, I love this, sky's the limit, it was on a celebration which is starting again in January people, so keep an eye out. Um, I'm going to stamp my image first on here, so I know it's straight. Because I put these together and they can be a bit skew wet, so I haven't got a very good eye. So I'm going to ink with that. Can't go wrong with the stamp and jig. Should everyone should have one. See, I so say it is a bit skewer, but now when I put on my piece of card, I can. I've done that for one. No, I haven't. I can put it wherever I want to make sure it's level. Put my stamp. No, it's wrong. I have done it wrong. Sorry, do apologise. Two seconds. <laughs> I needed to stamp at the top of the card, not at the very bottom. So. so I know where to square it off. Right, now I need my card. Congratulations there. That looks great. My stamp image is into play. Simply remove the card, ink up again, 
corner and straight down. <gasps> oh, that's so sweet. Picked it up. I can set that to one side for a moment now. Um, like I say, it's a god for ten pound. You can, I was gonna do some amazing things for you. Make sure everything's lined up properly. So I can set that to one side now. Oh, that's so cute. And because I'm using the flower shop punch, I'm gonna stamp dark ones and light ones with this. I've also pulled out my itty bitty flower punch, which I'm gonna use some wasted card. Scrap piece of card. I'm gonna punch out two little flowers. Where's my oh, my piercing tool? Then I just use the back end, press into the palm of my hand, and then little flowers have got a bit dimension as well, man. I think I might need a bit of something else. I'm going to also punch out my butterfly because I'm going to be using a butterfly like I did on the other card. It's an old punch there, do forgive me. So there's my butterfly for the top half of my card as well. Fold his little wings over on that side, and then we're going to stick glue dots down the back for some little gems. Oh, it's so sweet! First off, now we're going to go with the gorgeous grunge. I'm going to use the paint splash one. Let's set that to one side to dry properly. Now here comes my gorgeous grunge. This is where my little butterfly is going to sit. Uh, you can see from my paperwork, I was doing the black one not so long back actually. So, oh, I'm going to have to turn it. I don't like them lines. Yeah. I'm going to stick my little butterfly bit there, so that's in my glue dots. It's a little slippery little sh Ooh, sticky little buggers here. Let me see how they're going to stay on. Got my little rhinestones to go on the body of the butterfly. I'm having a night off tonight, ladies and gents. I'm being for Chinese tonight. No cooking. I've done so much cooking over the past few days. Oh, how sweet that is. And it's up to you where you put your panels on the card. And um, I'm going to use my uh, flower stamp now. Like I say, it's uh, it's this one. I'm going to stamp it, stamp again, stamp again, and then just darken it again. So here goes. Like I say, once you get your paper cut out, these things tend to be really quick. And I've used the wrong one. Oh well. Just put that one in the centre. Take them off. Look how pretty that is. Look. And they go so well together. So there's two. Fetch my little flowers back in here, my little ribbon. 
by the end, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to do differently this time because I'm really not very good at tying bows. So I'm going to make sure. Where's my scissors? Oh god, they're crap. That's sweet. Right, I'm gonna... Took me whole finger off there. That could be quite Christmassy as well. It's red. I suppose you could, couldn't you? Tidy that up a little bit. My scissors are terrible. But there we go. Right. Um. Again, glue dots. Do one, two, three, it's up to you. Have some more little rhinestones. All the supplies you can get from Stampin' Up via Measure Demonstrator. Stuck that stuck in between my fingers. And just by visiting the link. And I've got a little one on the bow there. What's so cute? I've also, um, I'm going to put friend on there actually, because obviously there would be friends. I like this little stamp as well. Oh god, I can't even think what I was calling it then. Cute. <coughs> Do a pot with it. Uh, some more bling. Because it's all girls like a little bit of bling. The fellas too. <laughs> Which is sexy. 
Oh, and that's so sweet. Now I can go ahead and assemble my cut. Quick as that. I'm going to first attach. No, no, no. Yes, they are. No, I'm not. But they stamped with that earlier. I'm hoping it's still got. Lovely. Nice. Um, bit of do, and maybe this little one again. Like that at the top. And like I say, because it says congratulations on the outside, you can quite just leave this blank and write your own little message on the inside. There's no need to go judging it up and putting words in then, unless you know. Well, you can like to say, write your own little message. Another quick card in there, I think. Pop more on a gas bag than I do, so. <laughs> oh, MG. inside. Now we're going like, to we want to decide where we want these. Now we could have these like this, like I did on the last card. Which looks absolutely adorable. So does that. I think we'll do it that way. So I'm gonna idea this down. Be brave and use my snail. Even congratulations could mean birthday, so All cut the same width size, so oh, there goes my snails just read out. That. I love it. So um, I added some large pearls, which oh, I've got here. To each of the flowers, just to give them some more dimension. Only on the dark ones so I'm doing it. And there we go. Oh, I don't know. I need to squeeze a couple more on there. There we have that. Same card, just different layout. 
next one I might even do the butterfly down the bottom, the sentiment at the top, keep flowers in the middle. But it's up to you, you put them in any order you want. There's my black one. Happy birthday, fabulous friend. Congratulations. Like I say, do a thank you. You could even send this as a sympathy card. Get well soon card. Um, I bought the banners for you, so you've got goodbye and good luck. Uh, happy anniversary. Just to send someone a little message to say how much you love them and how much they amaze you. A thank you card. Just just so it's into the, the list, these stamp sets are brilliant. Like I say, I love this little design. Um, it's endless, so you could have even, we could have even put the congratulations in one of these. Because I've got the banner for you Finlets as well. And cut it out and popped it off the card. So, but it's up to you. But there you go, that's my card. I'm gaining from Stampin' with Joy. Stampin'up.net. So if you want to visit my store, a thumbs up and a subscribe will be excellent. And um, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.